Alright, here we are. We've got the uh, got the Traxxas out here, the TRX4 Sport. With the new wheels, the dual foam Pro lines up front, and the new uh, dual dual foam, dual stage foams, excuse me, Pro lines up front, the XLs. Back here I'm running the Power Hobbies, but I have replaced the outer foam with a different foam. They come with it wrapped in one of the hair bonnets. And I think it's going to work pretty good. I did weight these now. So we're going to see how it does with these Chirax tires and those foams. I want to check to see how exactly how these tires can form. Especially on side healings. Stuff like that. Now this is a heck of a side healer right here which would be too steep for Dagno almost anything. So, so we're going to give these a, a try here. I put my interior back in it, and I actually put me a driver and a passenger inside. I'm hoping you can see them. The driver's sitting up a little high. His head's almost in the roof, but she's sitting there in the passenger seat just as pretty as you can be. So... Trying to see if I can't make this little TRX4 Sport uh, budget friendly and crawl like a competition uh, class one anyway. You know, uh, these are 4.70 tires. I think so far it's looking pretty good. Let's go over here and try some other places. Well, okay, now what I've got going here is the back side of Skull Mountain. Usually I try the other side of it, but I just want to try this side because of the bumper drag. I want to see how these weights and tires are going to work. So far, they're grabbing, and it has rained late, uh, today, actually. It rained. Let's see, let me see if I can get a close-up on this rear. Uh, it's trying to dig in through the mud. Ooh, he got caked up there. Yes, he did. If I can clean that tire off. Oh, now I'm bumpered in. So it seems like I'm going to have to get some momentum up to jump up on this rock here. <laughs> he slid back down on me. That rear tire caked full of mud. Let's see if we can clean them out. <laughs> Yeah, it rained today, so we're kind of playing with it. Got a few other obstacles we want to test him on. Here's a dog run bridge climb coming up to it. Uh -oh. Okay, we got up that part. See if it'll climb up on this wood. He's digging. Slick rocks, slick tires, oh yeah, muddy duck. I'm not going to give up that easily. Oh, that's not a problem there. Okay. One more test here at the RMX RC play park crawling course. Uh, I am running a 2S LiPo uh, Z. It's a 50C 5200 mall. Come on, pro line. Well, looks like my phone back here is contorting pretty good. I think I'm bumpered out over here. 
Ah, Prolon finally grabbed a hold of something there. Oh yeah, that helped. Got that sandstone off of that thing. That thing is slick now. And yeah, yep. Okay. Come over here to this side. Oh yeah. Yes. This is going up to the, the bridge here, so. Alright, I just had a little company there. My grandson telling me it's time to go in and eat supper. Oh, yeah. That grabbed it. Uh huh. See if she'll come up and over this bridge. Yes. Destruction bridge. Not a challenger. That was good. Like I said, now this thing, I put some weight to it. We're going to walk over here, see if I can crawl up this face. Okay. We're up here, and we're going to see if she'll crawl on up. Yeah, a little bit of a goose, but a little bit of power, power up. See how this bow line reacts to this rock right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I said these rocks are a little slick, they're a little damp, but outside of that, I think she's doing pretty good. I really, really do. I like it. I think I'll be able to withstand a few few obstacles here and there. And like I said, that's Proline Dual Foam 1.9s, the XLs up front. I took the ring out of them. That inner ring loop I took and cut it out. Then I put a total of 14 quarter ounce weights on each front wheel. Back here in the back are the Power Hobbies. The Power Hobbies foams do not have an inner ring, they're the orange ones. And the inside is pretty good. Now the outside is pretty stiff. So these Chirax tires come with some soft foams. And I took a hair bonnet and wrapped it, cut it in half, and wrapped it around their soft foam and then put it on to this Power Hobby inner closed cell foam for a dual stage like that. I think it's going to work pretty good. The pro lines, I think, once they get broke in, uh, and these are vented. I did make sure that they were vented, and they're venting and working pretty good. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hey, peace out. Have fun laughing, playing, and RCing. Yes, I'm checking it out. I'm going to give you a tour around the truck. I got a few more things to do to it. I got to change my winch hook. And then we'll be in good shape. 